this Samsung just unveiled the Samsung Galaxy S10 and Samsung's folded device, the new breakthrough in the terms of communications. But they didn't say one important thing. Can you trade off of them and make gazillion dollars? Stay tuned and check out my answer. Hi there and welcome back. So this is actually a very good question that a lot of people might, you know, ask themselves because I'm sure that uh, social media will be will be will be blown up, <laughs> will be blowing uh, from the scam traders that are you know buying now a new Galaxy folded device or a new Galaxy S10, claiming that they can make million and gazillion of dollars. Uh, off of them, solely trading off of them. And just recently, I recorded a video. Uh, can you actually trade uh, on your mobile device? Like a professional trader, can you actually trade and make some decent returns off of your solely off of your cell phone? So, for the purpose of this video, and before we go, can you trade on a Samsung Galaxy S10? Let's. I'm gonna put this video on on a uh, on a slightly faster speed uh, speed ratio so it will be 1.25 so my voice will be kind of funny but uh, so just that you can quickly go over it and then uh, come back on the at the end of the video where I'll give you my opinion uh, can you actually trade it or not uh, one more thing to uh, you know bear in mind is that uh, I, I the video was recorded on on X10 the iPhone X uh, so and some people might say, okay, but you use the example of uh, iPhone X and the new Galaxy is out, but that doesn't matter. Just if you don't want to watch the video, just go quickly overview it and just speed it up a little bit. So to hear my conclusion, can you actually trade on Samsung Galaxy S10 or a Samsung folded device? So let me bring the video. Here we go. Enjoy. So here you can see the, my portfolio and you can see and you can see here the balance, the equity, the current positions that will match my uh, my platform on my PC. <coughs> Sorry. And now let's check out the actual trade on the pound dollar. So now I'm about to click on a pound dollar here. Yeah, there we go. So this is the screen that you get. OK, uh, with this screen, you can see the that you open a pound dollar. You can see your positions roughly and you can see the sentiment. You can see the, some kind of the information about this pair, market hours, how when it closes, some kind of a links, uh, some kind of a links to Yahoo. I, I'm sorry, guys, my Skype is blowing up. I don't know a guy, uh, my, my designer is sending me messages. So I'm sorry for this. But this kind of stuff happens. So then you can also you can see trade statistics and all of that bunch of stuff and my leverage. Now, let's see how I can manage this trade. First of all, what I'm going to try to do right now is drag. I'm, I'm actually clicking on a TP, the, the top part where, where it says 69.6. I'm trying to click on it and drag it. That's not happening. I cannot, I, as, as soon as I click it and move my finger up, I actually move the entire screen. That's what you can see here. Now, if I click uh, with my index finger on X, it actually says remove protection. Okay, so basically I'm removing my take profit level, which I don't want to do as well because this, this is a live account and I'm currently in a live trade. Well, the same thing goes for the stop loss and for take profit and for the actual trade. However, now let's move and let's check out the entire chart. Okay, so I click this right, uh, right, left, uh, left to the hour one index. I click this uh, like a zoom in button. Now what I can do is I can pinch out, zoom out, and I can pinch in and zoom in. Although this is pretty cool, it's actually, as you can see, it's pretty. It's also hard. Somehow it's very hard. Now I'll try to just increase the uh, height of the chart. It's, it is easy to do, but it's moving around uncontrollable. So it's not. It's easy to pinch in and pinch out, but it's not as smooth as. A person would wish it wish it to be one other thing is this is a trend line that i was playing with before just to check out the uh, features of the app now i don't know actually how to delete this trend line that's why it stayed here so let's i'm trying i'm clicking on it but i, I don't see maybe click here no this is just settings of general of the app i don't know how to change it but what i do know is that when i click here uh here down here oh that's how i can remove it the drawings this is the only drawings that i can draw on my chart so basically, if you want to do some kind of a chart and technical analysis and draw, uh, draw uh, Fibonacci levels or something, you won't be able to do so. So it's it, there is no, in this version of the app, currently that I'm using, I don't have a Fib level to place. So that means that if you're trading harmonic patterns, you won't be able to drag a Fib level from the A, a, a point to the decompletion point and then trail your targets because there is no Fibs. However, I've heard that they're working on it and that pretty soon the app 
uh, will be updated so you'll probably be able to put clips on. However, let's move back to our big screen. Hey, and so we are back on our big screens and I hope you liked the video. <laughs> I probably find my voice a little bit of funny. I did as well. Uh, it was quick, short, two minute video where I was explaining how uh, to manage your trades uh, while trading on your phone. No matter what phone you use, that's how you manage if you're using CTrader app. However, there's another app, MT4, which is kind of advanced in, in mobile terms. It's better for charting if you're solely using your phone. But the thing is that I, I don't like MT4 as much as I like CTrader because on a PC, which I'm actually using for my trading, which I'm actually doing my chart analysis, you know, drawing my trend lines, drawing my patterns, all of that cool stuff. It's much better and friendlier on, on a PC. And uh, MT4 is so robust and it's not, it's not that flexible. It's much more harder to use on a PC, but it's better for mobile. The, the conclusion is, guys, no matter which phone you use, you can use a tablet, iPhone, Samsung, uh, iPad, whatever, Galaxy Tab. I don't care what kind of a device you use. If the platform providers like M MT4, MT5, CTrader, NinjaTrader, whatever you are using are not creating good software for mobile devices, you won't be able to trade off of them because it's so hard. It's not so flexible. You have to, you need to quickly, sometimes in trading, you need to move quickly. You need to set up your trades quickly. You need to, you know, react quickly. And on a cell phone, it's, you just can't do it. It's not that easy. You don't have a mouse. You don't have a keyboard. You don't have your fingers on a shortcuts on your keyboard and your right hand on your mouse so that you can quickly move around. No, you have your thumb and with four other fingers of your hand, you're holding the device. So you're not as fast. So no matter which device you use, I'm strongly against full-time trading on a cell phone. And I know that a lot of people will promote it as they're making money off of the Samsung Galaxy or the iPhone X or the whatever new devices. But I think that professional traders uh, are not, I'm sure that professional traders are not using them. There is a reason they have like multiple screens so that they can uh, follow all of their portfolio, like multiple pairs while on a phone, you can just see one, maybe two, <laughs> you know, it's really hard because the software is not created for it. Sure. You can track your trade. Maybe you can actually, you know, trail your stop loss by clicking many times. I was in one trade the other, other day in this week, pound yen, 80 pips up. There is a video, by the way, let me bring it up. Yeah. So in that trade, uh, I make 80 pips and I was driving, I was checking out my tr trade and I said, okay, man, you, you, you just hit target one. Now you got to trail your stop. So I had to go in this, uh, in, in a C trader and click like my stop loss was 30 pips out. Uh, and then I had to click like how I many 30 times actually to bring it to break even. And it, if I were to sit on in my office in my, in front of my PC, I would just drag and drop it in like in, in, in a second. And price action sometimes tends to move very, very fast and that's it, you know, and that's it. When it moves very, very fast, you won't be able to react on a cell phone and then you won't be able to follow your trade trading plan. You won't be able to do charting analysis and all of that cool stuff that we do each and every day. If you want to be a professional trader, you got to do it consistently and you're just not able to do so on any sort of the mobile device. So no, the conclusion is no, you cannot trade successfully on any mobile device, not just Samsung on any mobile device. And I hope this brings some kind of a value to you. If it does also make sure to click that like button. If you feel different, by the way, click comment below. I'll, you know, let's debate this. Show me that you're profitable solely trading off your cell phone and I'll record a video about that. I'll bring you on. We, do, we will do an interview about the first trader that I know that's fully, uh, fully, fully trading solely off of the uh, cell phone and it's making ton of money. If you're one of those people, yeah, please hit me up. Let's do the interview. If you're not, make sure to subscribe down below. Click that smash button. Click that like button. Smash that bell button and all of the good stuff. Let's bring this video to a lot more people so that people can see the realistic stuff about trading so that, then, so that they don't fall for the scammers on the social media. Thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.